Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. Everyone know that putting together the display driver as well as the various NVIDIA libraries on a Ubuntu machine, whether for your gaming or the deep learning project, it is a very cumbersome task. In this video, I am going to show you how you can update a very latest NVIDIA display driver on your Ubuntu 22.04 machine and the problems associated with it. In this video, we will start our work by looking into the NVIDIA display driver as well as the default one and resetting either one by using the system's driver applications. Then we will try to, in the next step, we will download a latest, very new NVIDIA display driver compatible for your NVIDIA graphics card, depending on your machine. In my machine, I have NVIDIA Titan XP. So we are going to download the NVIDIA Titan XP latest driver from the NVIDIA website. And we will try to install in the Ubuntu 22.04 machine and the installation will fail. We will understand why the installation failed and then after we will work to reset the driver to the default one and the install the latest NVIDIA driver to make sure our installation works fine. And finally, the Ubuntu 22.04 machine had the latest NVIDIA display driver. Using this NeoFetch command, we could actually take a look at the machine configuration. Currently, Ubuntu 22.04.2, and I do have the NVIDIA Titan XP GPU, but as you look into the interface, you do not see that NVIDIA graphics driver is loaded. One way we could actually check this as to run the NVIDIA SMI, and you will see that SMI is failed because it could not communicate with NVIDIA driver. We can also look into the system configuration. And when I opened the software and driver or just the driver list, you can look into the additional driver. Here you can actually see that currently it's using the Xorg X server. This is the display driver is used. It is not actually using the NVIDIA driver, which I have already installed here. So for example, if we would want to choose the installed NVIDIA driver, we can always look into the software and updates and using the NVIDIA driver and apply changes. So this machine already has the NVIDIA driver, which I have installed a few months back. So first I will show you how I'm actually reloading the driver, which is already available. And looking at the NVIDIA driver download for your GPU, I have the, the Titan XP, as you could see here, Linux 64 bit. We are actually using the production driver, not the newer feature ones. And here we can search and that is going to give us the 5258902, which is released in the February 23. So this is the very latest driver. We can download this driver. Uh, so the driver is being downloaded in my local machine. And this is the latest driver, which has been uh, downloaded. As you could see, just we have downloaded today. As and you can see here that this is the driver is loaded right now. We can close the window, come back here. So right now NVIDIA SMI is not really connecting to the driver because the, the window subsystem to show the UI is not really using the display driver. So if I restart this machine, you will see that the, the driver which has been loaded is already accessed by the display subsystem. So let me restart this machine. And after I have restarted the machine, now as you can see, NeoFetch, NVIDIA SMI, they both commands are working and then the 52585.05 version of driver is loaded. However, the display 
driver version which we have just downloaded is the 525-8902. So 85.5 is the old, older one and then the 525-8902 is the newer one. So we are going to update the driver. Here is our driver. So let's go to downloads. And as you can see here, this NVIDIA is a read write, but it doesn't have the execution. So you can actually say CH mode 777, all, all execution and NVIDIA. Okay, it has execution. So we can actually call the NVIDIA and we can run it. So now we could run this driver. And as you could see here, that NVIDIA installer must be run as root, okay? I could give you sudo. So I have given sudo access to the driver. And that's what I wanted to show you that, as you see here, that is cannot overwrite because the it, it, another display driver is already loaded in the memory. So installation failed. In order to make it work, the simplest option is that you go back to software and updates, go to additional drivers and just use the open one. This driver, apply changes. Now we are back to our original driver. We can close it. If you look into NVIDIA SMI, as you could see here, that's is not able to check the driver because now the subsystem has two different versions in the memory. So there is a confusion about which one is really the correct driver. So even if uh, even now, once we have reload the uh, currently installed NVIDIA driver with the base driver, if we try to run this command again, Okay, okay, and as you see that we had error, so the best option is reload the machine and then it will be very simple process to install a new driver as a fresh new driver. We are back to lower resolution, which proves that the there is no NVIDIA display driver is loaded in the system's graphics memory. We can also validate it by running the command. There is no display driver. We will go ahead and install the driver. Now we are installing 525.89.02 which we have downloaded a few instances back before we have restarted this machine. Continue installation. Now, as you can see that the NVIDIA graphics driver can be installed on the Ubuntu kernel. Yes. And we can actually use the NVIDIA X config to update the X configuration file. So say NVIDIA X driver will be used when we will restart. We can say, yes, go ahead, do it. Because that's much easier for me. And at this point, if I say NVIDIA SMI, it shows that 525.89.02 driver is installed. So we were previously, I think 85 or 86.05, it was 515. So we have updated the driver from previous version to this newer version of NVIDIA. Now the best option is that we reboot this machine. So this driver will be loaded into the Ubuntu graphics device manager. And here we have reloaded the Ubuntu machine again. And the interface, display interface already shows that the graphics driver is loaded. Let's run the NVIDIA SMI. That shows results are very good. 
I'm running the NeoFetch and NeoFetch also shows that everything looks good to go. So our objective in this video was to update the NVIDIA driver from 515.x.x to 525.89.02 which is the very latest one February 2023, 2023 release so, and that's all you really needed in order to get the NVIDIA display driver latest one working on your Ubuntu 22.x machines because this is 22.x machine and that is what I'll be going to tell you that it's going to work. So that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you have enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.